Well, I started the casting the summer of last year when I read the script, and it was during the time when I was reading quite a lot of scripts, and it really particularly stood out for me as one of my favourite ones, simply because of the, the sort of the theme of it. I mean, a kid saves the world and fights in zero gravity. What more could you want? My character is Ender, and um, he is he's this child genius, sort of in the most in the sort of the simplest sense. And he's chosen by Graf to go to battle school, where he undergoes a series of training exercises, and that's where he meets his um, all his friends, Bean, Ally, and Bernard, and he and that's where he goes into the battle room. Ender's relationship with his siblings is one of the very important aspects of both the book and the film. It's one of them, if not the most sort of important aspects of it, whether throughout the film Ender's always deciding whether he's Valentine, his sister who's compassionate, selfless and giving, or his brother Peter who's violent, sort of selfish and harsh. And so there's, he's always flicking between the two, which is also one of the things that inspired me to want to be the characters. Abigail Breslin, who's an amazing actress, and she was with us for the first couple of weeks of shooting, and it's been amazing working with her. Of course, Mr. Harrison Ford, who, when I read the book, or when I read the script, he was who I envisioned to be Graf, and so it's been an honor working with him. He is an incredible, he's an incredible actor, and uh, we've had a lot of fun working together. One of the, so a lot of the key scenes are between Ender and Graf, so mm -hmm. we've had some good times. I mean, it is the second time I've worked with Saban, and it was really interesting to see how he plays two different characters. And again, it's just shown me how much of an amazing actor he is, and he's still the most incredible actor I've worked with. And the difference between Mesa and Georges, who he played in Hugo, is... is it's incredible the way he pulls it off and then his Maori accent which I have no idea how he does. He knows exactly what shots he wants, he knows exactly how this is going to be played and how that reacts throughout the rest of the scene and throughout the scenes in the future of the film. And so working with him when he knows exactly what he wants is really helpful for an actor. And he does give you bonus time at the end he just lets you do your own thing, which is always good fun for an actor. It takes the pressure off. But um, he's an amazing guy, and he's always really energetic, so if we're tired at the end of the day, Gavin will come in sort of shouting, and he's really helpful when you're trying to boost your energy. Gavin's, he's phenomenal. We talked a lot, even prior to shooting, about how we were going to develop Ender's character and where we saw the film going, and him and the book as well is a great resource for material that you can look on when developing it and Gavin's such a great guy. It's great, I mean, it's one thing filming, creating a movie, but it's a whole other experience, sharing it with the group of people who are already so excited about it. It does put a lot of pressure on you. It's because so many people love the story, you do feel nervous about, especially playing Ender, the person everyone loves, it's, it's hard, but I hope everyone enjoys it, and, and in fact, I'm sure they will. I've seen bits and pieces, and it looks crazy. Like, it's, I'm so excited about it. Filming it was, I had such a good time. I was, yeah, as he said, I was in New Orleans, and there are so many other guys my age who we became such good friends. And the cast and the crew, like, you couldn't ask for more.